Me and Aaron was really sitting there. I had to look up the stats on that one. That shit fucked us up. Was smack. Happy you learned something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but salute to that, man. We still don't learn anything, but let's learn about some crazy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah let's man. learn about let's this. Into this it. young black and entrepreneur. Yeah, man, it's, it's deep. deep. Let's it's dive deep. into it, man. So, like, how you started with, um, you know, your credit repair business? Um, Honestly, when I first, I didn't really start until I was, like, educating myself for, like, maybe, like, the first three, three, four years. Cause I got a credit card. I think I got my first credit card. I think it was like 2013. I think it was like 2013. So, I mean, I came up Caribbean household. Nobody really talk about credit. Nothing same. like that. Credit cards are the devil. Same oh, thing. You know what I'm saying? Same, so, same thing. So, you know, I was same just like, thing. you know, us, we was coming up. We like, man, what y'all talk about? Let me see what this is about. So I got the credit card. I didn't really know much about it. Um, started doing my research then I mean I started doing my research and then I started working on like my family's credit at first like with all the stuff that I learned family friends it's doing it for free completely free um I think this was like 2017 yeah like 2017 2018 and um I was like yo I could really like I yeah. could do something because like me naturally I really like helping people so it was just kind of like I learned how important credit was, and I was like, if you walking around here with bad credit, that's not a good look. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, I, I especially myself, I pride myself to like knowing that my friends and my family have good okay. credit. You know what I mean. So cause when you understand how important that tool is, you could do a lot. I mean, I feel like that's probably one of the first tools to start generational wealth. Is it credit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In America, definitely. I can see that. Yeah. So. Um, started doing that and I was telling my friends while I was doing it I was like yo I could really start like a credit repair business because I'm sure like there's a lot of people out there that got bad credit it sure so, is yeah you just know chilling. what I mean so cause like when we was driving here me and Blanco like we was just um chopping it up we went to go get some food and shit like that and we was chopping it up driving here and you know like finding your purpose on shit and we was like yeah you know like with Ron he probably started doing it like you know, another 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 way of an income mm -hmm. until you started helping people out, and it's like, okay, yeah. Now, like you said, I just like seeing people do better. It's like it's it's not really for you. It's for yeah. I think the the biggest part too is like when you have clients. First, it was like my family. Like I started helping like a lot of like cousins, uncles, um, aunts, and like fix their credit. They was able to get a home. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's like big. Like oh man, like you know. It's probably in the jacks, probably like in a neighborhood you really don't want to live in there. But with bad credit, you can't really go to the places that you want to live because probably one, money ain't right, or your, your credit can't get you into them places. You know what I'm saying? Especially like housing, different, like better areas. Obviously, you're not going to be in like Livingston or South Orange yeah. or Montclair with terrible credit. Yeah. It's doable. It's, it's doable. doable. It's, it's doable. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, it's, 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 it's but the, I wonder the why chance. Caribbeans do that, though. Like, I remember, they like, didn't, they ain't getting t shirts. That shit don't, that shit don't mean nothing in the islands. At yeah. all. And, like, by the time I they came over here, there's a really adults. So, we, what the fuck? You know, America's not really the only place with credit. And America like, got like credit bad credit. Really don't they everything. worry about any money? Yeah, that's yeah, we shit. definitely would talk about. We definitely that. owe China like trillions. Yeah. Sure, trillions. Oh, I mean, but, look be, back. <laughs> but you gotta look at it. Too. I feel like they owe us money too. So they I, definitely they probably negate itself. So. Ah, we owe them more. Sure. And they probably got them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. think China's in debt. Are they? I doubt it. Everybody's in debt. Yeah. Ah, that's true. Everybody's in debt. It's yeah, about you. Like but, your hoodie. Hmm? That, that's just appropriate for today. Forever in debt. You're forever in debt. Forever in debt. Yeah. You did that on purpose. So not, How convenient it's not, it's is not, that? It reads that way, but it, that's not what it is. I think it's Valentine's Day hoodie. <laughs> you nah, that's the um. It's my it's my my young my young nigga brand. Oh, oh black on. Yeah. Black definitely. on. Black on. Shouts out the Nas it's, on it. It's forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, oh yeah, definitely, man. You know, Black History Month. Try to support every small black businesses out there this month. You know what I'm saying? You're you're what? S sunlight. Hmm? Say it again. You're forever. No, wait. I'm reading like y'all read it. Forever in your debt. Mm, mm. Okay. I can see how you misread that though. That, yeah. yeah. We, we, read, we, we read right to you know. Let me left to right. Man, go ahead. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but I, I remember like growing up, my mother. That was the first thing. I remember like when I turned 18, my mother told me don't get a credit card. 
That was the yeah. first thing. Mine and I remember like, I got one anyway, though. Thank God I don't listen. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember, like, growing up, I never seen my mother use a debit card. My mother paid cash for everything. And I think it was just like, I guess, Big like, how, yeah, like how, how they grew up. <laughs> how they. Cash. <laughs> <laughs> How you pay for that? Cash. Cash. Fuck. Cash. You like, know, but, 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 but nothing, like, nothing, like, and I guess, like, maybe how it was, like, them, when they first came here as, like, immigrants, and I realized it was a lot to do with the things that my mother was doing back then, or, like, you know, ain't no paper trail on certain shit. Yeah. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, so it was like wasn't no paper trail, nothing to really rest. Yeah. <laughs> cash. <laughs> yeah, cash everything. So it's for me. But yeah. I remember when I got my first credit card, I was just like Okay. I got my Ran first credit up. card at eighteen. The first thing I bought was a big ass T V mistakes were but I paid it off. Okay. So right. I remember, I always remember, yeah, pay this shit off. I'm going to use this shit again. Yeah. The limit was like, I remember the limit was like 300. It was a Capital One card. And I got Sorry. that shit only to get the TV because I was like, that was, hey, fuck it. That's, that's mainly the start. I'm not going to lie. Capital but One. I'm happy I paid yeah. that shit off because yeah. now that I know how how bad, like having like a negative remark on your shit is, like um, yeah. um your payment history and shit. I'm, I'm I really glad. didn't know like how serious credit was. Like just like, you know, like how we saying like, um, Growing up, we don't, you know, as black people, we don't really get taught financial literacy and shit like that. So I ain't really like niggas. Niggas think the more money you got, that means that means you're good. You can do that means you're good. You like shitload of money. That means like if you got a shitload of money, that means you could just pay whatever it is. Yeah. And it's not like it's really not like that. Like I remember when I got my first credit card, got my shit from Best Buy. I needed a laptop. Got my MacBook. You know, I'm paying, I'm just, I'm just throwing whatever to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Working, I'm throwing $10 to this shit. <laughs> $10 <laughs> to this shit. And I ain't even know. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a good thing, though. Yeah, nigga, that was the minimum like, yeah. this fucking, nigga, yeah. this shit was like, what, 20? This was like 20, <laughs> 25, man. 20, 20, 20, so. <laughs> <laughs> this was like 2015, around there, 2015, 2014. And yeah. I got it, you know, I'm paying this shit. And I'm like, I ain't, like, I see my credit, like, my credit report, whatever. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm said, like, oh, yeah, my shit, my, no, my shit was green. Nah, my shit was green. My so, shit was green. I'm going to tell you about the rise and fall of my credit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the rise and fall of my see credit. The villains. <laughs> nah, my origin story, crazy. I'm oh, like, right, yeah, my shit good. You know, I'm in school. I'm like, all right, I got a nice little seven. I'm oh, like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. Nigga. Boy, stop making payments on my shit. I stopped. I, I think I got fired from my job and I couldn't make like a few payments and my shit just started dropping. Boom. Oh, yeah. Graduated yeah. school. I forgot all about the credit card because I paid off the laptop, right? Mm -hmm. But now I had like, I, this one I was working at Best Buy and I used to be buying shit on my, on the credit card, but I forgot that I used to have to pay the shit back. <sighs> Nigga, shit started dropping. Graduated. Now, boom, student loans started kicking. Boom. Now I'm not paying student loans. My shit. <laughs> You might as well nose leave the country, bro. Nose dive. My shit <laughs> dropped crazy, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. definitely. You might have to enlist and get that okay, forgiveness. Um, <laughs> so to bring it, how can we get people to understand what credit is? So, um, like he was saying, cre credit, like, honestly, is like your reputation. So, like, with the people that got all the cash, you want to probably go get, like, a loan from the bank or something like that. You have no history like it's like your resume okay like to see like what you've done like as a bank can i trust you with fifty thousand dollars show me what you've done that would make me comfortable to give you fifty thousand hmm. dollars so with no credit that's like when we first get credit cards they don't give us like 10 bands you probably get yeah. like a 500 hundred dollar car maybe a thousand if you're yeah. lucky two thousand that's why because they don't it's like a risk factor they're like okay you have no credit, but we're going to take a chance on you and see how you are. That's why you don't get the 10000 at first, because they're like, ah, let's see. That's why you get the credit line increases after a while, because they want to see. Because we all have, like, those friends that, you know, always need money. Or yeah. like, yo, let me borrow. But sometimes they just don't pay you back. So it's like, Jeez. should I borrow you $1,000 this time? You usually ask me for $100 all the time. Now it's 1000 and you'd be taking, me, be taking a while to pay me back. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of look at it like that. Like, okay. But if you have a person that's had a couple credit cards, maybe a car loan. Yeah. 
they looking at that person as, okay, he's responsible or she's responsible. They can handle a car loan. They can handle maybe a, a you know a little personal loan, two credit cards, and they're paying everything on time. It's just really your track record. So, mm-hmm. like, credit is just, you know, they want to look and see, are you responsible? Or can I trust you with this money I'm about to give you? So, um, I think... Back to what you said about the store card. I always tell people don't get store cards. They're pointless. Okay. Pointless. I fucked up. You want to elaborate on that? Well, yeah. So um, the reason why I say that is most times, like how many times would you say you go to Best Buy for the year? Now. That brother was not, working there. So I, mean, I was working there. In a minute. But I, I fucked up because they gave me two options. Mm-hmm. Best Buy had the options. You could just use a uh, Best Buy card just to use only in Best Buy mm-hmm. or Best Buy Visa card. But my dumb ass didn't know that I could. I should have got the Visa card. Yeah. And my dumb ass got this the yeah. only card to use in Best Buy. Yeah. So the reason why I said that is because um, if you get, like he said, like the Visa, like a major, you know, a major institution – you probably be able to use that card anywhere else. So a lot of people don't read the fine print. When you get a store card, they'll probably give you like a great interest rate to use it at that store. But if you swipe it anywhere else, the interest rate is probably over 20. And that's crazy. So with that, like, once, once you go through that, just explain to them like what the difference between like having a high interest rate. Oh yeah, like so, um, oh man, it's about to get deep. Yeah. So, um, hold up the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> um, with the interest rate, it's, it's really a big factor. So I'm just going to put it like this. So if you have like a $1,000 credit card, and let's say, for instance, you have bad credit and your interest rate is high, um, how credit card companies make their money is off of the interest. So if you're one of those people that, let's say you have a $1,000 credit card, and let's say you spend $500 and you pay it off right before like the, yeah. the due date or like the statement date. They don't really like people like that because they, they, you really, they, you can't really charge them interest on anything. Yeah. So, like, the people, credit card is literally for you, they're charging you to be able to hold a balance on a card. You get what I'm saying? Which so, makes sense. It's $1,000. So, let's say if you have bad credit, your, your interest rate is, like, say, at 20, which is wild. 15, 20, even like 10 is, like, kind of like wild. So, if you run it up and you keep, like, a $900 balance, that's eighteen dollars they're charging you. Let's say your interest rate yeah. twenty. That's like eighteen dollars that they're charging every month just for holding that nine hundred dollar balance on a card. What happens is they tell people, "Hey, just make a minimum payment of twenty five dollars." Mm-hmm. When you do the math, <laughs> yeah, you're fuck. only paying six dollars towards your statement. Say. Like, so that's why most people are like, yo, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying, but it's not going down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you're barely covering, you're covering the interest, but you're barely paying towards your statement. Ladies and gentlemen. So that's why they keep you in that ever-ending yeah. cycle of, you know, yeah, just make the, the minimum. So I tell my clients all the time, never make the minimum payment. Because this is like, I don't know if you ever heard them say, if you want to, like, cut your mortgage down a certain snowball. time, make make that yeah. extra payment. Yeah, snowball. Long-term effect, like we were talking yeah. about earlier, you probably pay off a 30-year mortgage in 20 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's same thing with credit card. It's it's crazy, but, hey, man, that's why I say, like, when you have good credit, now if you got $900 on that $1,000 card, you paying them probably $2. Mm. Now, if you're making, let's say, an extra payment here and there, or if you just make a hundred dollar payment towards that nine hundred dollars instead of twenty five, for you know it's paid off. It doesn't really cost you that much to have the balance on the card. And that's just nine hundred dollars. Some of y'all niggas is bands. Oh yeah, so, so y'all better. A lot of people, they're like, up. I have a lot of people that I talk to every day. They're like, man, I had this card and I'm paying it. Paying it, paying. I'm like, yo, you're only paying twenty five dollars towards four bands. You're never gonna pay that off. Yeah, it's different. Damn, think about that. <laughs> yeah, that's you're never gonna. Because most times, even without about interest that. rate, twenty five dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm but, saying. So most <laughs> times, like, that's well, only four hundred dollars a year to pay twenty five dollars for twelve months. It's nothing. Usually, they like depending on the institution, they'll like you know, hey, it's four bands, so you're not. You know, I had to recalculate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to sell. 
The nigga said it. We all kind of. Three hundred. Yeah, yeah. I was like, going through with the math. I was like, what are you saying? Three hundred. Like, cause I thought I'm like, I don't make sense. I ain't here to do math. It's gonna be a Sunday. All right, man. Make sure you subscribe, because I know y'all watching this right now. Subscribe, like, share, all that shit, man. Listen to your mama, your baby mama, all that shit. All that shit. Your grandmother. Shouts out to Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Shouts out to the throat, throat. That's kind of wild, but all right. <laughs>